Good morning, afternoon, evening, fungi, myco warriors, depending on where you're at. Um, today we're going over some of the different things that you can get at the dollar store to help you produce your own mushrooms at home. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with micro pore tape or paper medical tape. This can be found at the dollar store for just a buck and a quarter. Um, for these, these were supposed to be um, ketchup cups but they didn't have any ketchup cups so i got these and what i would do is i would make some agar and dump some agar into each one of these and then seal it up but before doing so i would put a couple holes in the top of these lids throw some paper medical tape or micro pore tape on over the top of it fill it with agar and then that gives me um, 10 really inexpensive things that i can put agar in and i can reuse them as well so they're not trash right away, like maybe your condiment cups might be, uh, instead of something reusable like this. Uh, the next thing that's super important <clears throat> that we do is lids. We do lots of lids. We make lots of lids. Lids are a finite item. They are not reusable eternally, at least not anymore. Uh, so I got a pack of 10 lids for buck and a quarter you can't beat that uh, i think ball lids and cur lids and all of those are a lot closer to five bucks for 10 of them or something like that 250 five bucks somewhere in there depending on where you go so not bad pretty good steal um, spray bottles you'll need lots of spray bottles for different things whether it's your alcohol you need to spray your substrate you spray your um your monotub or whatever you might need. You're gonna need this, a few of these probably, for while you're growing. Dust masks. Dust masks are completely underrated and not very much talking about whenever we're talking about mushrooms in general. Um, but you're a gigantic ball of non-sterile everything. And your mouth and sinuses are probably some of the worst places on your whole body. So when you're working with mushrooms, you don't want to breathe directly onto any of the things. A dust mask can help with this. Uh, that way you're, you're trying to do as much as you can to eliminate as many bacteria and microorganisms as you can by covering your mouth and your nose. Next up, a monotub. I mean, it's not very big, but let's see it's 12 cups so it's not very big 96 ounces but it's not something that you couldn't get a couple of flushes of small flushes out of um and it won't take up a lot of room right so that was a dollar at the dollar and a quarter store too removable vinyl paper this is super important for some of you guys um, not everybody has stainless steel to work on. Some people are working on their tables. If you're working on a table like this, this crack can fill up with all kinds of things. And even if you pull it apart and you clean it, you're not necessarily going to get everything. So if you have a problem with a countertop or a tabletop or something like that, that you're not sure that you can get clean good, get some removable vinyl paper from the dollar store and lay it down. And once it's laid down nice on your your table then you can sterilize that surface instead instead of the wood and you know that you are much better than you would be if you were working directly on the wood gloves nitro gloves eight packs so there's four pair in here for a buck and a quarter i mean granted you're going to need more than four pair for the entirety of your grow however if you don't have a bunch of money, you don't have 20 bucks to go buy a box, you can spend the buck and a quarter and get four pair at least, right? So that at least you have something. A compass and protractor. This doesn't seem like a, a common item. It doesn't even seem like an item that uh, a lot of people would use for mushroom growing, but... If you're going to be cutting holes with a razor or an X-Acto knife or something like that, this will get you perfect circles so that you don't have to worry about having the super jagged edge or anything like that. Uh, 
And finally on the table today, we've got an X-Acto knife, craft knife, whatever you want to call it. Um, these work great. The only problem with these is that right here on the handle, you can see a small plastic piece at the top. Right, so there's a plastic piece on the metal piece that hold handle. So if you get one of these and you're using it to cut your agar or trim your box or whatever you're using it for, if you're going to use it, make sure that you don't heat all the way down the blade. Make sure you use one of the blades that has a short blade so that you can only heat about this much of the blade and not have it melt the internal of your um of your scalpel or handle rather um you don't want that to melt it'll your blade will fall out it'll create all kinds of bad stuff you can sp after you attach the blade to your your handle you can spray it all down with isopropyl and rub it real good everything except for the, the sharp part obviously and then once that evaporates you can flame sterilize the portion of the tip that you need to use and then just use that portion of the tip. Don't go down to the bottom of the of the blade so that you're using a non sterilized non flame sterilized portion of the tip. So that's pretty much everything that I got at the dollar store. There are more things. There are bands also for these if you need bands. Um, they're jar they also have jars um, instead of you having to buy a ball jar like this. They actually have glass jars that are mason jars that are only a dollar. Um, I don't know how well they would hold up in a pressure cooker, honestly, but hey, nothing, can't give it a try, right? All right, well, that's the dollar store haul, and uh, we'll see you again. Thanks for tuning in.